welcome back to my channel my name is Angela In today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create an eyeshadow look with one eyeshadow palette I'm actually gonna be using the very first eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased in my life so without further ado let's get right into the video so I already have my foundation I already highlighted contour did all that fun stuff got my brows done we're just gonna go right into this tutorial now the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using for this look is an Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palette and I think this is the original one the original Naked palette that came out this was the very first eyeshadow palette that I purchased um, I think eight seven years ago it's been a while now as you notice this palette does not have a lot of colors to use for our transition shade so what I'm gonna do is use a blush now before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyes with concealer I'm gonna go ahead and prep those leads real quick for the transition color I'm gonna use Patricia Bright's face palette from hot collaboration with makeup revolution this is the dusk till dawn palette and this is one of the face palettes I'm gonna use this shade this is a blush that I totally love by the way it reminds me of raisin by Mac I'm gonna use that as our transition shade now if you ever purchase if it's your first time you know purchasing an eyeshadow palette have no idea what you're doing you can always use a blush a really highly pigmented blush as a transition shade honestly the thing with makeup you just have to make whatever product you have work it's no wrong using a blush as a transition shade it will get the job done I'm just gonna go ahead super pigmented I love this blush look how much is already applied on with just one swipe from the product love it and I like to bring it all the way down to the side of my nose and I'm gonna go back in just apply another layer of that blush Again, slowly bringing it down to the side of your nose like that. Just creating depth with this transition color. I like that it's a little bit on the dark side, so that gives us a really good contour around the uh, crease of the eye. Since the palette has a lot of metallic shades that range from rose golds, pinks, champagnes, gold, browns, you name it, I am going to create a metallic look now I you know, the first thought that came to mind you know what I am so I'm gonna work with this two colors to start off so I'll start with this one around the outer corner and then work this one in the center of the lead and then probably work with this shade towards the inner corner of the eye so let me start off with this shade and this is Hustle. So I'm going to start off with Hustle, which is this right here. Right, so after that, I'm going to move in with this shade. And this is toasted. I'm gonna use the other side of the brush. I just flipped it. And then just go ahead and apply that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I try to bridge the gap between the two shades by just going slightly over that metallic gray that we first applied. I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to use that same side of the brush to apply this super light 
shade is like a very light rose gold this is sin I'm gonna go ahead and apply sin It looks crazy right now, but don't worry. We're gonna blend everything in with our blending brush. I'm gonna pick up that brush that we used to apply the transition shade and just blend everything in. I'm gonna go back in with that blush and apply a little bit more in the very outer corner of the eye. I love that this is a subtle metallic look. Nothing over the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna apply a jumbo pencil. This is the Milk. And now I am going to apply mascara. If you don't have a jumbo pencil, it's fine. You can always skip this step and just go ahead and apply your mascara. The same applies to lashes. If you don't have lashes or if you're afraid of putting on lashes, you can leave the look as is. Just use a mascara that gives you volume and length to just give your natural lashes that ump, that volume, and you're good to go. You can just leave the look like this. I think it still looks incredible, but I need to take this look to the next level, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes. So I'm just applying glue on the lashes. I'm using the Ardell Wispies. These are recycled lashes. All right, so while lashes are drying up, while the glue is drying up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply lipstick. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to apply Lady Danger, and this is by MAC. It is a vibrant orange color, but because it's gonna make my lips look like they're duck lips, I am going to apply a dark concealer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick. I'm just applying a little bit of that highlighter from the same face palette, the Patricia Bright face palette. Go ahead and set the look with a setting spray. I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys can now go and create a makeup look with one eyeshadow palette. I'm sure you guys are going to nail it. You guys, honestly, the whole principle with makeup is you can create any look that you please with what you have. You just have to be creative and just figure out ways that can help you create certain looks with whatever product you have. You don't have to go buy everything that every YouTuber tells you on YouTube to get. You can just work with what you have and create a look. So thank you so much for watching. Drop some comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.